is back on Saturday. I swear to God, that's got to be one of the worst international breaks I can ever remember. It was slow. Oh my God, it dragged on so much before football's back. It's in the past, well, it's nearly in the past, but it will be in the past on Saturday. And if that's not worth smashing that like button, I don't know what is. How are you all doing? This is my predicted and my preferred 11 for this game against Leicester. After Everton, after Villa, after Villarreal. Solskjaer's under pressure. No, nobody can deny it. All right. We've got 10 games and this is the first of 10 games. I've already predicted. I'm giving my predictions, sorry, for all 10 of those games leading up to the end of November. But this game against Leicester, we're going to be without Varane. We're going to be without Maguire. Will Rashford start? Who comes in midfield, given that Fred is going to be missing because he's still out in Brazil? There are so many questions to ask about this starting at 11. Please drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to United People's TV. But finally, let's talk about football again. And the 11 that I think that should be starting against Leicester. Right, let's get straight into this one, baby. Uh, as I said, I'm going to start off by running through each position and the player I think Solskjaer will play there. And I'll also give you my preferred 11 at the end of the video. But there's going to be changes all over the pitch in this game against Leicester, really, because we're missing Varane and Maguire. If I'm looking at the back five, of course I'm putting David De Gea in goal. I think he might be busy. I think Jamie Vardy is going to get plenty of opportunities. It looks like Ilya Nacho is going to be fit to play too. So there's going to be pace there. And because of the defenders we're playing, maybe we'll be a little bit susceptible to that. But I suppose you could say the same thing about Maguire and Baran. I've gone Shaw and wan as our fullbacks. Of course I have. Shaw playing, I think, the full 90 against uh, Hungary. wan is still being left out because we've got a ridiculous abundance of right backs inside this England setup. But... They're going to be our fullbacks, and there's no real questions about that. It doesn't matter how good or impressive Delot was during the international break. Centre back partnership. Who are you going for? Because Maguire, he hasn't trained with the squad this week. I'd be very, very surprised if he's in this team. I don't think he will be. Uh, Varane, we know he's missing for a few weeks. Minimum, minimum, he's missed. He's missing the Leicester game and the Atalanta game, and back for Liverpool. But even that's a bit of a stretch. I'm going for Lindelof, and I'm going for Bai. And so many of us are going to have sort of. Hearts in mouth, heads in hands. I think Lindelof is a good centre-back. A very good centre-back, I'd go as far as saying. I think uh, when you played him alongside Maguire last year, I keep repeating it, it's the same, but it's true. They Their weaknesses didn't complement each other. They exacerbated each other. They made each other look worse with their weaknesses. Now, Lindelof and Bai, on paper, it's a decent centre-back partnership. But with Eric Bai, as much as I love him, He's got a penalty in him. He's got a red card in him. He's got a hot streak in him. He's got a mad rash decision in him. And that's why you always have that niggle at the back of your mind. Um, thinking about what Bay might do in that game. I hope he turns up in this game and he puts in a properly assured performance. Because by what we what we've seen uh, for... I don't know, the last few seasons, is when he comes back in and he plays he plays great for a few games and then he gets injured. And then something stops him, whether it's an injury or, or a rash decision, something stops his progress. We need Lindelof and Bay to step up here because Solskjaer needs... The, I don't know whether or not we'll keep a clean sheet when we haven't kept clean sheets. And it'll be massively ironic if we keep our first clean sheet in a long time when we don't have Maguire or Varane. But that's probably going to be our centre-back partnership. Unless, of course, one of them gets injured and there's, then we know uh, Phil Jones coming in. Phil Jones. Anyway, that's who I'm going to play in defence. But let's quickly move on to midfield now. And again, more questions. But before I do, a big shout out to our friends and sponsors, One Football, for helping United People TV throughout October and November. There is a link in the description to download the app. I, I, you know, I've, I've said this to you plenty of times before and I'll keep saying it. It's a cracking app. It really is. Uh, all the latest news, all the latest match and build-up updates ahead of this Leicester game on Saturday. All the latest transfer news about Paul Pogba, about Chouamene, about Van der Beek, about everything to do with Manchester United news, transfer news, match stats, match coverage, match in everything. It's all in one app. The link is in the description and I would encourage you to go down there and download it ahead of the Leicester game. There'll be plenty of top content on there. So thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring these videos. But let's talk about this midfield, eh? 
Midfield, midfield, midfield. Every single week I say it's the biggest talking point and every single week it is the biggest talking point and this week is absolutely no different. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think if Ole Gunnar Solskjaer sticks with McFred, uh, that's going to be him digging his own grave. And I think it might be a little bit of, of grace, really, the fact that Fred is going to miss this game. There's no way that Fred plays, surely. He's, I think uh, Brazil play Uruguay at like 1am on Friday morning. And we play at 3pm on Saturday. No, 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 no. No way. And if he does, then the loyalty to Fred is even more severe than I thought it is. But who starts in midfield then? For me, look, I'm going to go straight in with here. I'm going Matic and I'm going Pogba. I want to explain why. I think by far and away, it's the best balance we've got inside this midfield setup. Matic just isn't uh, fit enough or young enough to play here every week, 90 minutes. He doesn't have that stamina in his legs anymore. It's simple. So maybe you can throw McTominay in here alongside Pogba, and I think that is a partnership that quite a few of you want to see. But Paul Pogba 100% is playing in central midfield here. Now, it goes down as a double pivot. But although a double pivot on paper can look like a 4-2-3-1, if you play it correctly, in possession, Matic can drop a little bit behind Paul Pogba and allow Paul Pogba to go forward a bit. It's a bit like if you watched uh, Fred and McTominay away at West Ham. Fred dropped in behind and McTominay was allowed to go forward. That's what you need Paul Pogba to do. And we need to try and get the most out of him. As we saw with Paul Pogba and France during the international break, he's he's on form this season, man. He's on form. Get him in the right place and let him do the damage. Don't just task him with winning the ball back in midfield. That should be down to Matic. And maybe in this game, we'll see McTominay instead of Matic to give a little bit more defensive stability to the back, you know, to Lindelof and Bayer, but I don't think it does. I think Matic actually adds that. It might take away from going forward a little bit because he won't have the legs to do it, but let him screen the defence. Let him get the ball and get it to Pogba and let Pogba do that. That's why I think this is a balanced partnership that works. And the reason I'm definitely putting Paul Pogba there in the middle alongside Matic is because I'm putting Marcus Rashford on that left wing. Marcus Rashford hasn't played a game in four months. We have missed him. We've massively missed Marcus Rashford. And I think him coming back into this team is going to be a new, like uh, the, the adrenaline injection it needed. We need someone of Ra with Rashford's energy, with his tempo, with his direct running, with his style of play. We need that injected back into this attack. And I've always said it all along that as soon as Rashford comes back into this team, Pogba will have to drop deep. And it's not as if he can't play there. He played there in the final of the UEFA Nations League alongside Chouamani. I think he played in the semi as against Belgium alongside Rabio. You know, he is more than capable of playing in a midfield too. And with Rashford back on the left wing, that's now Rashford's spot. When he's fit, he is playing on that left wing. Absolutely. And I want him to. Rashford, we've needed him. We've desperately missed him. I think Shaw, watch, watch Shaw from now on, if Rashford's playing on that left wing, watch his season begin to improve. I don't think Shaw's hit the heights of last year, and I think he's massively missed that partnership with Rashford on the left. So watch that. I think Shaw could be a good performer against Leicester. And I think Rashford's going to be excellent. And it also allows, which is another massive plus and bonus of Rashford coming back, is Sancho out on the right wing, man. Got to play there. He got two assists against Andorra. I think he actually played out on the left there. I'm not sure where he played there for England. I didn't watch a game, to be honest. I don't care about England during the international breaks. No offence, England. But Jaden Sancho, right? I don't care if he played out on the left for England. I don't care if he can play out on the left there for United. I don't care if he has played out there on the left for Dortmund. I want him on the right-hand side for Manchester United. That is the where the, that's where the balance is not there in our team. Greenwood, as good as he is, is naturally going to cut inside onto his left because he's, you know, left-footed. Even though he can cut out, cut out on the right-hand side and he's probably the most two-footed player we've got at the club. Sancho, with his direct runs, with his runs in behind... Bruno Fernandes should have a field day in the middle. And I've got, obviously, Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be starting up front. He's an absolute joke of a bloke. Another hat-trick during the international break. 58 career hat-tricks. He's only got one for United. I'll tell you what, Ronaldo, if you fancy doing two hat-tricks in a week, I could do with a hat-trick here against Leicester. But for me, that's the starting eleven I, I think Solskjaer will go for. And I'll be honest, it's actually my preferred eleven as well. I wouldn't really change a player in there. So maybe I'm wrong in saying that because... For me to get a preferred 11 and get all 11 players in it, I'd be surprised. But looking at it and looking at the players we've got available, the form we've had, the form the players have been, 
Sancho had a decent international break. Ronaldo had a good international break. Bruno had a good international break. Rashford is back and he's fit. Pogba had an excellent international break. All those players in there at Rashford's side, you're playing in there on form. Mason Greenwood, some people might say it would be harsh to drop him. Yeah, it is, but it, we've signed a £73 million well-beating winger. Start him, right? Give him the opportunity. That front four is the front four I have been waiting for. Rashford on the left, Bruno in the middle, Sancho on the right, and Ronaldo up front. That's the one with balance, with shape. Watch Sancho, Sancho sorry, cut to the right wing, fire crosses in. Hell, I think Ronaldo might score a header against Leicester. Put a tenner on Ronaldo, score a header. Wan Bissaka, I think, watch him play on with Sancho on the right hand side. I swear to God, he's become he's, he will become a better attacking right back. Sancho on the right with Wan Bissaka. Shaw on the left with Rashford. Balance there, balance there. Balance in the middle. Balance is the key word, the buzzword. It's the every word of United because we're such a top heavy team. You could throw Martial in there. You could throw Greenwood in there. Pogba wants to attack. McTominay would rather attack as well. No one really wants to screen and defend. That's why Matic is so crucial in counteracting that. Just wish he was five years younger. We need a younger version of Matic in that midfield. We know we do. Solskjaer, McKenna, Carrick, Fletcher, everything. Feeling. We have to manage Matic correctly. If we can do that this season, maybe play 55 minutes here against Leicester. We can get a one or two goal lead. Bring McTominay on for a little bit more energy and dynamism midfield, in midfield. Maybe that would be a better thing to do. I don't think Matic can last 90 too often this season. But for me, we need him in that midfield. It's crucial that he goes into that midfield if we want that balance. You know, Donny van der Beek, again, getting overlooked. But when you've got, I'm sorry, but if you've got players like Paul Popper and Bruno Fernandes in those two midfield roles, you're, you can understand why he's getting overlooked. They're, they're, they're a level above. No matter how good van der Beek is, he's not as good as Popper or Bruno in those spots. My own opinion there. You might disagree with that. But for me, as I said, not only is that the predicted 11 I think Solskjaer would start, it's actually the 11 I would want Manchester United to start of the players we've got available. Huge concerns about Bayern and Lindelof. Um, I'm not going to write them off until I watch that performance. Lindelof, I think he's a good centre-back. He'll need a bit of protection. Again, I think that's probably why Matic is a smarter choice than McTominay, who can't play in that holding role on his own. And if you're going to play Paul Pogba in midfield, you don't need someone in there who can bring the ball forward. You need someone in there who can protect the defence and nobody going to do that better than Emmanuel Matic, right? That's my team. That's my 11. Rashford back in, Ronaldo, Bruno and Sancho. That front four, man, I've been waiting for it all season. This is the game I want to see it in. You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. As I said before, make sure you download the OneFootball app. My friends at OneFootball, sponsoring United People TV. Link in the description. It's free to download. And I want to know your starting 11. Who do you want to see in against Leicester? What formation? Any changes you want to see? You let me know in the comments below. And hopefully if you've enjoyed this video, please drop a like on it. Please subscribe if you're new. It's been a painful, really slow international break. But Man United are back in action against Leicester and we need a win. And I'll tell you what, with this start 11, I think we can get it.